Okay, ladies, it's time. These are full leggings. I have gone shopping and looked for leggings based on your recommendations. Something budget friendly. And you guys know, a lot of you guys know, I am not a legging girl, but I'm trying to get there because they're probably the best thing to wear when I'm with my grandchildren and when I'm out walking. So we're gonna put these to the test. You're gonna give me your opinion and we're gonna pick the best of the best. Hi everyone, I'm Barbara. Welcome to my channel and welcome to the battle of the leggings. Hopefully, hopefully there are some keepers in here and I think there might be. I haven't tried anything on yet. So let's get started. Oh my goodness, I might be coming a legging girl. I don't know. I am liking this first outfit from Old Navy. Let's talk about this top. Oh my gosh, I love this top. This was $12 and I had 20% off coupon off my entire order. So I, I got this top for $9, $9. All right, look at this. Isn't this cute? It's an ultra light. This is very, very light, very light racer back rib knit performance top with four-way stretch look at the back how cute is this i love this i'm gonna have to get some more and some more colors all right um and i'll try to put links in the description of everything that i've bought in case there's anything you guys would like to order all right so the pants the leggings. Oh my gosh, I like these. The tag said they were $39.99 and then they were marked down. I think I had 20, 30% off and so that made it $25.87 and then my additional 20% off brought them down to $20.71. But regular price is $39.99. Uh, they are high-waisted. They're called the Elevator Power Soft 7 8 Length with uh, side pockets, but it's got this big panel here. And let me tell you, I did not think they're medium. I did not think I'd be able to get them on and it sucks everything in. It's just pulling and holding it there. It's almost like wearing a girdle, but they're not tight. They're comfortable. They're really comfortable. Oh, okay. Now I know why everybody wears leggings. These feel really nice. Okay, let me show them to you. Uh, the pockets, the side pockets here, I've got the tag hidden in here. So two side pockets, which I would put my phone probably in one. Here's the back. See, it sucks it in. It's doing pretty good. I think I could go walking in this outfit. What do you guys think? So they're, these are lightweight, so they're not that compression, but I did buy some compression leggings, so it'll be good to compare them. Now I get it. Now I am understand, at least this is my first pair, so you know maybe I should hang on to this statement, but I'm understanding when I receive leggings in a box and you guys are like, oh, you need to go to Old Navy or you need to go to JCPenney or you need to go, you know, all these different places because those are just outrageous. So, all right. I think these are a keeper. So let's see what's next. Okay, another pair of leggings from Old Navy. This top is not from Old Navy. I've had this at least eight years. I bought it at Lululemon. Love it, love it. So uh, I don't even know if they carry them anymore. All right, let's talk about the leggings. The ones I'm gonna show you are a little thicker. Uh, they are size medium. They are the high waist elevate Moto 7 8 length, regular $36.99. Um, I paid $20.71 for these. They are very high waisted. These are tighter, so they feel like they're cutting into my organs, actually. They're not as comfortable as the first pair. Uh, let me show them to you with a, you know, with a longer top on that you might be walking in. Okay, so these leggings have, I like that they have this like ribbing here and then the mesh and they're, they're just different and that's why I selected these. They are the olive color, there are no pockets. I like the length of them. 
Uh, the high waist is nice. I mean, I think the first pair actually feel better than these. I'm not sure if I showed you. So I think I'm gonna return these leggings. So I only have one more item from Old Navy and I tried to get them on. <laughs> I actually bought a pair of shorts. Yeah, camo, can you believe it? This is the only color they had other than this, like this really bright color. And they are size medium. These are the Bermuda High Rise shorts. But ladies, they do not have that stretch. It looks like it, but I could not get these on over my hips. Nope, didn't work. How much did I pay for these? I paid shorts. These were $26.99. They do have a side pocket. Oh, I got them for $18.89. So they, they do have a side pocket here. I mean, if I'm gonna get another pair, try a size large and see if I can get them on because I'd rather walk in shorts than um, legs, you know, when it gets really hot out. So those are my three items. So right now, I'm gonna keep these two items, which brings my total to, Say, let's just say $10 for the shirt, $20 for the pants, 30 bucks. There you go. All right, let's try on JCPenney's. I think those are compressions, so it'll be good to compare them. JCPenney's, I only have two items from JCPenney's. I was running out of time when I was shopping and the selection was kind of slim um, because they were on sale. The top is, it was $22 and I got for $12.99. The bottoms you will see, they were $37. I got them for $12.95. That's a pretty good deal. I mean, we're talking like roughly $25 for two pieces. Yes, please. Okay, this top, this is really cute. It's by Exertion. I'm not sure if I'm saying that right, but it is a longer top. I like that it has the little sleeves. It's quick dry. It has stretch in it odor resistant, um, and it has UPF of 50. That's nice. Look at the length of it. It's a good length. This is a size small. It is kind of, eh, it's not oversized. It's got some stitching here on the side. Goes up. So it is a regular sleeve. I like the V-neck of it. It's got a multi-color. It's got some peach, some lime, some purple, some white, um, pink. So you could wear with this anything, really. Okay, so this top is a keeper. Okay, these leggings. I am liking these leggings. These are high compression. And on the tag, it'll tell you if it's low, medium, or high compression so you know what you're buying. These are high compression. Somebody recommended it, a few of you did, get the high compression. Somebody told me to go JC Penney's, so I did. Um, they are really, really nice. I am probably gonna keep these depending on how they actually end up looking when I look at the video, but they are the 7 8 um, with the pockets. They call these a train. These are actually also um, ex exertion, exertion. How do you say that? Quick dry, ventilation. Um, they call them, let me see, I've got some notes. Pro something, pro club. I don't know. Um, but they feel really, really nice. They have like the netting here. I like the detail along the side with the stitching, um, the pockets. The high waist is nice. Um, it actually has like about a one inch band inside. You can't see, really see it, but then it's got this panel here and it sucks you in. Um, stitching, I always worry about how this area kind of looks, if you know what I mean, you really, don't want to draw attention to this area. So kind of keep an eye on that. Um, let's see, the side view does suck you in. And the back I like, it has like this 
V in the panel here. Not that you're going to see it when I'm walking, but I think it does a pretty good job sucking you in. So I think these two are going to be a keeper also. All right, so I only have one pair left and I bought these at, oh, from Target. I actually just picked them up yesterday and they're actually straight leg. And I thought, well, maybe I will like straight leg a little bit better. So we'll see. Haven't tried them on. Let's compare them. Now I have on the Target leggings that are straight leg. They are by All In Motion Power Mesh Panel Mid Rise Straight Leg. $28. They were not on sale. This top I've had, I bought this at Target. There's no tag inside. I don't know what brand it is. I bought it probably two years ago, which I really like. Another shirt that I would walk in. Okay, let me show you these leggings. First of all, they're too long. Uh, so I rolled it up underneath, but I'm pretty sure they sell them also in a short. And these are probably just regular. Um, they, I think they also have them in maybe in petite. And these are, I think these are the curvy for curvy women. So let me show them to you. They are tight through the legs. Uh, they do have pockets on the side. Here's one. Here's a pocket. They're pretty deep, just like the other ones. Um, these feel thicker than the Old Navy pair. Um, what else can I tell you? They, I, I can see the crease, like the line here from my underwear which I don't like that look. Um, I don't think there is flattering in the bum. I waist it. They are not as tight or snug. They don't pull you in as much with this panel as the other pairs that I have tried on. So I was hoping that these would work out but these are gonna be a no. These are gonna go back. They're not comfortable after wearing the other ones. And I was really hoping to like the straight leg. Um, let's see, so that's it. That's my legging haul. So right now, all the other ones are upstairs. I'm gonna keep the, J the shirt and the leggings from JCPenney's and I'm gonna keep the top and the black leggings from Old Navy. So I think that's pretty good. I'm excited. now. Uh, you know, I gotta watch the video so that can change. There are a couple things that I wanna share with you guys. And first of all, I need to apologize. And I think I offended some people with, it was not my intention. From my Stitch Fix video, I think it was, was it Stitch Fix? The last video, oh look, I think it was Stitch Fix. I'll put it up here. Um, I had on those, remember those jeans that I got that are crop, and they are flared crops that I felt, I made the comment that they're ugly, and that's my opinion, and it made me feel like a poor girl. Okay, I did not think anything about it. I've offended some people, and I'm very, very sorry, and I know I've lost some subscribers over it because they told me. <laughs> um, I was thinking it brought me back to my childhood uh, when my kids were young, I life was a struggle. Let me tell you, growing up was a struggle. Uh, sometimes, you know, how are we gonna feed our kids? How are we going to, you know, the bus didn't even let us on the bus. They said, sorry, your parents didn't pay. You have to walk. Um, so life has not been easy for me uh, growing up. And I think it made me a stronger person and it made me more determined to make something out of myself, my life, and for my children. So that was the first thought that came into my head. Um, when my kids were young and somebody would give me a gift, I would take it back to the store and I would buy clothes for them. So I am so sorry from the bottom of my heart if I have offended anybody because that was not my intention so I hope you take my apology. I'm very sorry and um, it was insensitive and I just didn't think, so I'm sorry. Okay, 
So let's go on to news about my grandson, Emrick. Uh, what is today? Today is Saturday, April, is it the 10th? Something like that. I don't even know what date it is. April, let me look. Uh, April 10th, we fly back to Ohio tomorrow on Sunday. Um, so last week was pretty trying. Uh, Monday, we, Emmerich had some um, blood work done in home from the in-home nurse. And for anyone that doesn't know, my grandson is seven years old. He's fighting leukemia. He also has Dravet syndrome, which is a type of epilepsy. So Monday, he got the, you know, blood work done, routine, you know, has it done every week. We get a phone call. Well, the parents got a phone call and said, hey, he needs to go to the hospital. This was like at three o'clock. 2.30. They said, he has to be there at 3.30. I'm like, what? <laughs> you know, okay. So, you know, the dad texts me and mom and said, can somebody get him there? I'll meet you there. And I said, yeah, I can take him. No problem. So we get him to the hospital and we find out that he has to have platelets. So it's like a three hour stay. By the time they get you in there and they get everything started and all that, he didn't leave there. We were there at 3.30. He didn't leave till 10.30 at night. And they had to be there Tuesday morning for something. He had to be there at 6.30 in the morning. I mean, you would think they would just keep him, but nope, they didn't keep him. He had to come back. So then Wednesday morning, the nurse came and put his access port in like 8.30 in the morning on Wednesday. And she said, um, she takes the blood, they take blood. She took it to the hospital uh, to make sure everything's okay for his like, all day chemo treatment on Thursday. This was Wednesday. I get a text. Emmerich needs to go to the hospital. He needs a blood transfusion. And we kind of thought maybe this might happen. So I kind of had, you know, so in the morning I was scrambling, getting everything done. So um, I took him, but um, let me back up. Monday, when I took him for platelets, I was there for just about two hours or so. And then I left, he cried the entire time, entire time until he fell asleep. Okay, so Wednesday when I took him, I hope you guys are following me. Wednesday when I took him, he cried as soon as we left the neighborhood. Normally he cries like right when we get off the highway. He cried, he started crying after we, when we left the neighborhood. So I get him in there, I get him checked in, waiting for mom and dad to show up and he's crying and crying. And we get him in, the nurses come in and ask you all the questions and everything. And we're sitting there waiting for the parents to get there and for the nurse practitioner to come in. So I'm rocking him and I'm singing to him because I'm, he's, you know, he's so upset. He has a seizure while I'm holding him in my arms. A bad one, like stiffing, eyes rolled back, shaking. So I yelled for the nurse to come in. Thank goodness the seizure only lasted um, a minute and a half. Rescue meds, we give him about two minutes, maybe three, depending on what the seizure looks like. He did not need rescue meds, thank goodness, because that's a whole other situation typically. It knocked him out. He was, they had to give him oxygen. And after the seizure, he was out. So they gave him some oxygen and just had to wait uh, to see how he was gonna do. Um, my daughter was with him. She spent the night with him. He had to stay, wanted to keep him overnight. Uh, she texted me finally, we were there at 3.30. I think the seizure happened like at 10 till four. Uh, no, we were there at 1.30. It happened at around 2.15. That's how long it gets checked in and everything. So she was there and she said, finally at 10.30, I get a message. He, get, he got his blood transfusion, they have to wait until he woke up, he has to be given um, Benadryl and Tylenol because during a blood transfusion, he can run a fever, which can cause a, a seizure. And they want him to wake up, make sure he was okay first. I'm like, he's out, just give him the transfusion now, <laughs> you know? And they're like, well, it doesn't work that way. Uh, so like at 10.30, she said he's happy. The tra blood transfusion went well, he's doing great, he's eating, and he doesn't want to go to sleep at <laughs> 10.30. Um, so he's, as far as I know right now, he's doing great. So, um, thank you again, everyone for your thoughts, your prayers, your hugs. Um, you guys are just, you guys are the best. So thank you. Thank you. Thank you.
So I hope you enjoyed this video. I will see you guys soon. Everyone have a wonderful morning, afternoon, or evening, wherever you are, from my home to yours.